Four players have been confirmed to be leaving Kaiser Chase. And according to one of the agents who represents the players, he calls it cruel and unfair to the players. Top of that, we're going to talk about what the crew said to Kaiser Chiefs players, revealing the plan of Nazareth Dinabi for the season. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this, this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. So, Togo is a dube of far post, a very good journalist. Usually goes to Naturena and he gets there yesterday, Monday, the 24th of January, and he realizes, wait, there are players who are missing here. And this is before another journalist confirms his story. So two sources, very re reliable, confirming the same story. So the players that he noted were absent is Lucia Temba Sebe, who's out of contract. Some of you are clipping. Unjabulo Ngobo, who Fapos reported that he has signed a contract with Sekukuni United. So that's our loss, I guess. Number three is Ukikentoli. Ukikentoli, high salaries, and injury, and the age is not his side either. Number four, Shanti, who we thought was going to leave last year. Anyways, this is before the whole situation of uh, Uma Zola, who's now coming into the story, reports in addition to what has been reported. So Uma Zola Mlife reports today uh, because Um Togozisi Dube reported yesterday about the players were not there. So Uma Zola Mlife then reports that Sitebe, Doli and Shanti were called in by the management. So his article is released today. So he says today, which could mean today like tuesday so that means they were called in and they were just told today that hey you will not be renewing your contracts now my thoughts on this before we talk about the other four players i think i think the agent is right it is kind of cruel right i i understand you have a contract with the club and if the contract ends you leave the team now if your contract is not being renewed by the club i feel like they should tell you maybe beginning of june or end of may hey after the technical report has been submitted, early June, dude, will not be renewing your contract. Not this thing of waiting and, and, uh, until the day I report for training and then you tell me that, listen, I uh, come in for a meeting. I'm like, okay, maybe they're extending my contract. And now you're telling that player, hey, we're not extending your contract. I feel like that's not fair, especially if a player, let's take Ustebe, for example. I'm not saying they shouldn't have released him, but look at Ustebe at the back end of last season. He was playing more and more games. And we're thinking, huh, he's probably going to be kept in the next season. So that player would be sitting there thinking, hmm, maybe there's a chance. You get me? But then you are told, boom, five days before the, 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 the transfer window officially opens, and now you are done. And I understand people are going to say, Unjabulo Ngobo's situation has been like that and all of those things. But it's possible, we haven't had, it's possible that Unjabulo Ngobo did say, I don't want my contract renewed. But for these three other players, if one of the agents is saying this is unfair because now they have to look for a job, and if they have been they had been given a heads up, I think it's better. You plan better, but it's business, I guess. But I think I agree. But when what do you think before we move to the other players? And before we actually do that and move to the other players, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I have a dream to get two hundred thousand followers by the end of the year. Like, guys, kuna who are watching who have who have not subscribed. So can we do it? Like, can we do it? Get 200,000 before the end of the year? Let's do it. That's the goal. Now, the fifth player who was also reported by Umtogo City to be not there is Ed Milson Dove. And Ed Milson Dove, we know that his contract is coming to an end. But there is a layer to him because he was with he's with his national team in Mozambique for the Kosafa Cup. But then again, I'm like, why would you... Why would you not talk to the person who's selecting the coach of Mozambique and tell him, look, there is a coaching change in my club and please don't call me up, right? Like nicely because it's not like they're playing AFCON. I know Kosafa Cup might be more important to other countries than South Africa as much as we also participate in it, but it's like a, a friendly to, to, to South Africans as much as they do lose, but it's, you know. So I'm just asking myself and wondering the implications because... Chiefs will be out in Tekea and when they go there for 18 days, we don't want to be part of the squad. So I wonder if that's going to make him actually not be part of Nabi's plans. The fifth player is, not fifth, the sixth player is uh, Utebu Hopotane. So Utebu Hopotane is injured, which is the same thing with George Matlow. More so though for George Matlow because U George Matlow is actually injured. No, Tebu Hopotane is injured. But Utebu on top of being injured, his contract runs out on the 30th of June. 
So I wonder if that injury is also going to affect him living. And I would like to hear from you. Since he, he is one player who adds something value to the club, I'm not saying the others don't, but he's in a unique position of playing as a 10. Do you think Chip should say, ah, your contract is over, take your injury to another team? Let me know in the comment section because we've also haven't heard anything about that contract being renewed. And then Uteb Hopotan arrived last season, but it's not a long contract, so it's possible. And you saw the way they were using him and the number of injuries that he has picked and the fact that sometimes when he arrived, he was playing games and changing games, but then he was dropped, which I don't understand. So, seven. Now, let's go to the eighth player, which we already know it was reported long ago. Babofa post, our unplayable Luguti Chiefs are not renewing the contract of Jason Gonzalez. There is one more, by the way. And Ega Gonzalez says he could make too much. I'm not going to continue with it. And number nine, Edson Castillo was also not there. And now Castillo, you might think, ah, oh, but Timpilo, come on. Castillo is from South America. Yeah, sure. But that does not mean you don't come for preseason. Yeah, right? So in my head, I'm thinking, is it possible that they are taking the 30 million from North Africa and they want to reinvest it? Because they have spent a lot of money on the coaching staff. So maybe something that comes in wouldn't be that bad for them. So I'm going to ask you this question. I've asked you a lot of times before we talk about Nabi's plan. Uh, do you think it would be a good idea to actually take the 30 million for Castillo and reinvest it in buying other players? Now, Uta Cruz arriving on Sunday, then talks to the players on Monday. Oh, ho, ho, before I talk about that. So Umuzi, the scorer, is apparently was still there with training the players. So Beno Shepard, and Shepard, the way Mtoko Zisitube puts it in the article is he was a familiar face, like introducing the coaches like into the surroundings and everything. So he could be leaving, but Nomuz was there. So something to keep an eye on. Because he could be kept as a, I don't know, a fitness coach, and then the conditioning coach can continue doing his job, the one who's coming with Nabi. Anyways, the plan for Nabi. Uh, Uta Cruz said three simple things, which I think we've all been saying. First one, he said he wants a team that has a winning mentality. Like, not this thing of just, like, I don't know, how Chiefs plays. It's a draw. They are not showing any hunger to win. Like they are playing like they're a small team. He wants that to change. Number two is uh, discipline. Like I know some of you will keep on defending your players who come to training drunk or smelling of alcohol, but he 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 is. It's an end of that. And the discipline also includes players like Abu Mushin. You cannot gain weight while you are playing for Mush Unabi now. Any team actually that is serious about football. You can't be gaining weight. Calvin Phillips ended up leaving Man City because he gained weight uh, at holidays. And then look at how his career turned out. But Good Chiefs were supposed to say, oh, he's a star player. He's allowed to be fat. And the, the third one is high standards. High standards obviously still mean we're trying to win. You are representing the team well. I think it's the same thing as just discipline. So I think that's an interesting thing to lay down on your first day as you arrive in the team. Uh, but what do you think about the players who are leaving Kaiser Chiefs? Check out this video where I talk about what is Kaiser Chiefs' way and this video that YouTube thinks you might like. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, equals, I'll tell you more.